Hey guys, William Justice here. Today I wanted to show you two amazing new tools for DaVinci Resolve Studio. I created both of these applications so you could save time, be more creative, and focus on creating great content. Also make sure you try my new timeline tools for DaVinci Resolve Studio. Just came out with this video, you guys reported a couple issues, so I just put in an update. So uh, make sure you download the latest version. You can also, if you're, if you're curious about what it is, um, there's a link in the description and you can check it out. Absolute true story. I decided to create this application one day, sitting on my couch watching TV. The neighbor's dog was barking and going crazy. It was driving me insane. The dog's a menace. Anyway, this is a brand new app that I created. It's a free download for DaVinci Resolve Studio. It was kind of a quick experiment to see what I could do, and I think it turned out pretty good. I'll show you what it does, how to download it, and get started with it after we talk a little bit about this app right here. This is Superbins. This app is amazing. I use it on every video project I make. Have you ever wished you could just copy media files without even thinking about it and paste them directly into your video project and start editing? No need to worry about keeping everything organized, making folders, downloading files, creating bins, and individually selecting all the different files that you need to import into your video editor. Using Superbins, you can do all of that with just one click. It's automatic and super fast. You need to give this a try. It'll definitely make you change the way you think about your media files. Not only do Superbins automatically sync all project folder files directly into your video editor, but I'm gonna show you 10 super powered features of Superbins to boost your productivity. You can download the Superbins free trial by going to switchtake.com Superbins. Right now there's a special offer and you can get Superbins for a 40% discount. The promo link is in the description, so download it and let me know what you think. So what can you do with Superbins? Here is the Superbins application. This runs in the background, so let's just minimize it. Here is our main project folder on disk, and here is the Resolve Media Pool. We'll take some media files, and we're going to copy them into our project folder. The files are copied to the folder and automatically synced with the Resolve. In addition to auto-syncing files, here are 10 additional things that Superbins can do to boost your productivity and help you out with your next video project. Personally, this is the feature I use the most. Once Superbins is set up, it knows where your project folder is and it's connected to Resolve Studio. This allows you to copy media from anywhere and paste it into both your project folder and Resolve. So let's, uh, we'll minimize Superbins here. I'm gonna take some media files, right click and copy. To paste them into the project and Resolve, you just need to use a real quick hotkey sequence. Superbins detected that we were pasting video files, automatically created a footage folder. It created a footage bin in Resolve and copy the files into the folder and imported them into Resolve with one quick hotkey sequence. Superbins also lets you paste data directly from a web browser into your video project. So here I'm at pixabay.com. Right click and copy any image. Hit the hotkey sequence. The file is downloaded, copied into your project folder and imported into Resolve. You notice that it detected that it was an image and created an image folder in our project area. It's that quick. You want a flower? Right click, copy, hotkey sequence, files downloaded, copied, and imported. Okay, what about screenshots? We're going to hit the print screen button and capture a portion of the screen. That copies it to the clipboard. Now all we need to do is hit the hotkey sequence. The screenshot is saved into the images folder and imported into Resolve. No need to create bins, creating folders, saving files, or doing anything. It's all automated. The Superman's copy paste import works with all of your media files, images, photos, video files, music, and sound effects. If you can copy the file, you can paste it into your project. The Superbins folder monitor will watch any folder and any new files added to that folder will automatically be copied and imported into your project. Here we're at Pixabay that has music downloads. So let's just pick a file and we're gonna download it. Superbins detected the download, automatically copied it into our project area and imported the file into Resolve. This works with any downloads from a browser as well as other folders where you might have new files, such as maybe an OBS screen recording. As soon as the screen recording is done, it'll be automatically imported into Resolve and copied into your project area. With the Superbins Paste to Playhead feature, any new media you paste in with Superbins will automatically be added into your timeline at the Playhead location. Let's put a video clip down here. You set the Playhead where you want the media to be inserted and select the track on the left-hand side. We're at Pixabay, let's find an image we want to insert. Right click, copy, hotkey sequence. And the image is inserted into the timeline exactly where we wanted it and we're ready to start editing. We can use Superman to set the file name, location, and other file attributes when we paste it in. Let's find an image we want to add into our project. Copy the image. And this time we're going to use the hotkey sequence for pasting with attributes. You'll see that we have a file name here and this is just this is the file name from the download and a bin location so you can just we can just type in a new name here and Superman's auto detected that it was image and chose the image folder 
You can select different locations from this predefined list. This is customizable. Or maybe we just want to customize it and we'll type in food slash dessert. And we'll hit sync file to sync the file. Superbin's downloaded, copied that file into our project, added it to the timeline, and created bins and folders for food and dessert. It's right there and ready to go. Each of these dropdowns is customizable, so you could add in whatever folder names, bin names that you use for your projects. How many times have you imported files from all different locations on your computer, the downloads file, temporary directories, other projects, other resources? Say if you delete or move some of those files, you're gonna have broken links in your project. You can use Superbins to fix all these issues, copy all those external files into your main project area and relink them inside your video project. Just click the sync slash diff button. Look at this section right here, outside project folder. So Superbins found 14 files that are out of our project folder. Now maybe some, some of those files you wanna keep out there, but then there's, there's other ones where I left them in my downloads folder. If you delete the downloads, the download out of the downloads folder and it's linked into Resolve, you're gonna have a problem. All you need to do is hit copy and relink. Supervins will take the file from outside of your project, move it into your pro the main project folder and import it into Resolve. It's really quick and easy and it makes it really convenient for keeping your project organized. You can use Superbins to copy and paste multiple files of all kinds of different types, set attributes, and import them into your project. So I'm going to highlight all of these files. This is some audio, video, as well as some images. Copy them and hit the hotkey sequence. You'll see that we have 25 files here. We can sync all the files. They'll all go in, or we can adjust the names and folders for each of the files. We just go ahead and sync all, and Superbins will put them all into the project, automatically categorizing them into the correct bin based on file type. Supervins is also great for helping you clean up your project and getting rid of unused files that you don't want. For example, we've chosen one of these audio tracks for our video. We tried some other ones, but we don't like them. So we can select them and get rid of them out of the video project. We'll go ahead and delete these. But of course, all the files are still on disk. You can use Superbins to clean this up and get rid of those unwanted, unneeded files. So we'll bring up Superbins, click Sync Diff. We'll click Unsynced Files. So you can see Superbins detected that these files are in the project folder, but they're not in Resolve right now. So we have two options. We can take these unsynced files and send them into Resolve, or we can click the delete button to remove the media. Now, obviously you need to be careful that you're not deleting anything you don't want, but the option is there to help you clean up your project folder. A lot of people use clip colors to organize the media and make it really easy to see what types of clips are in different parts of the timeline. With Superbins, you can use the clip color option to automatically set clip colors as you import the, the clips. You can set the clip color when you import it right here and choose the clip color, or you can go into the customize area and automatically set a clip color for each of these folders. So if you import a photo, we can have those be blue. And if you import a graphic, they can be orange. You can really set it to be whatever you want, but it's a handy way for getting those clips colored and organized right when you're loading them in. I use the open project folder um, option quite a lot. It's a quick hotkey sequence. No matter where you are on your computer, you hit it and it, your main project folder will open up so that you can access your files. And there we go, we have our project folder. Use project templates to get a great start on your next, next project. You set up a base template and then you can copy all those files and that folder structure into your next project. Just click the plus icon. You choose a template folder which has your files and your default folder, folder and bin structure. You set your root project folder and you give the new project a name. It'll copy all of that into you, that project folder and import the files into Resolve automatically. It's a great way to get a new project started. Supervince does a lot more than this, but I'm going to show you one more bonus thing. Um, this is something I created for me because I really hate importing media, and this helps me out a lot. Click the gear icon and choose Import Media Folder. It defaults to my SD card. This is where I import my media from. I hit Select Media Files, and this is showing me all the media files that's on my SD card from this month. But in this case, I want to choose Today. These are all the files I recorded today. Hit Import. Supervins is going to take the files, copy them into the project, and they'll be ready to go. Okay, so what does this thing do? Why was I sitting on my couch and why was the dog driving me so crazy? I had been editing all day and my brain was melting. I decided to take a quick break, sit on the couch, watch a little TV while my media files were rendering. The renders were taking a long time and I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could just sit here and instantly know when the renders were done so I could go back in and check on them. So I put this quick experiment together. I'm calling Switch Notify. Switch Notify runs on the PC or Mac, monitoring the Resolve render queue. And when a render finishes, it's gonna play a sound, <laughs> open up the video, which is really convenient. But you can also pull it up on your phone. And this is what I was gonna use on the couch. So I can sit, sit back and watch the render status. It shows a progress bar when it's, gonna, when it's completed. If it fails, I know it. And if I wanna see what it looks like, I don't have to get up and go to my computer to check it out. All I gotta do is click the play button and it's gonna play the newly rendered video right there. And I can see if I like it, and 
a lot of times I'm gonna go back and change something because I'm usually making adjustments. I use this all the time and it's way more convenient than I thought it would be. The basic version of Switch Notify is completely free. You can download it by going to switchtake.com slash switch notify. There's a link in the description, so definitely give it a try and let me know what you think. It's pretty easy to get started. Um, like I said, this is an experimental application, so there could be some issues here and there. And let me know if you have any new ideas or features that you'd like to see. Here's the main Switch Notify screen. It can notify us with a sound, desktop notification, it can open a video when the render's complete, and I may look at adding uh, text and SMS features in the future. Right now you can see the Resolve Render queue is empty. So I'm gonna start up a render and let's see what this does. Let's go to Deliver, choose YouTube, and we'll give the video a name. Let's add this to the Render queue and choose Render All. Let's see what happens. Switch Notify has detected the render job and you'll be able to see and track the progress inside the Switch Notify app. The render is complete and our video automatically opens so we can start previewing it. There's also an option up here to notify you on Superbin's copies. So this is great, so if you're copying a, lo a lot of files and it takes a while to get those files copied, you can be notified and you'll know exactly when that copy is complete from Superbin's. You can view all this on your phone. You enable the remote access on, from the settings screen. You scan this code, follow the directions, enter your IP address and a access code, and you can pull up this exact list on your phone the remote access is kind of a preview feature, so this is probably gonna change in the future. If a lot of people use it, there's a lot of things I can do to make it easier. This is just kind of a temporary test solution for now to see if it's possible and what could be done. The basic Switch and Notify app is totally free. No obligation at all, but if you enjoy using the app or wanna see continued development and in new features, consider supporting us. You can click the link at the top of the app to open a support page. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I hope that uh, one of these two apps or even both can help you out. You can download them by going to switchtech.com and there's also links in the description for this video. I've definitely put a lot of work into Superbins and this uh, Switch Notify app. I use them both all the time. I really think they're great applications and they can help you save time and focus on creating better content. Superbins is gonna be on sale for the next couple of weeks at the special promo price. It's gonna be 40% off. So definitely give it a try and see if it's something that can help you out with your video editing process. And also, as always, if you try any of these apps or, or you have any questions, comments, let me know. I'd really love to get your feedback and hear what you think. Thanks so much for watching. I'll have a lot of new videos coming soon.